Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk about Fasten Master Fusion Lock 5 Shot Hidden Fastening System. You've seen us use it on a couple videos. Wanted to give you a little bit deeper uh, in depth review of the gun, the clips, how they're used, how you can install them, how you can remove them if you need to, and overall thoughts and review of the gun. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content, which is usually five days a week. All right, basically what this is, it's a pneumatic nail gun that's been adapted over to use a special proprietary clip and a nail that is called a scrail, which means you shoot it in like a nail, but you can remove it like a screw, which is really cool. They come in a coil like this. There's probably around 300 scrails on a coil. They're two inches long and they have a star drive head on the very top. The top of the head of the scrail has a T10 fitting, star drive T10 bit, so you can actually remove this, these scrails with a T10 bit. So the, the scrail goes in like a ring shank, but it's tapered like a screw so you can pull it out if you need to. So if you ever have to replace a board, a fastener doesn't shoot properly, you can remove it, which we've had to do a few times. It's kind of cool. So a little bit, a few features about the gun. Basically, you, you purchase the gun and then you have to purchase the Fusion Lock fastening kit. Now this fastener system only works with TimberTech and Azek decking. So if you're not using TimberTech or Azek, I don't know if the Fusion Lock will work for your particular brand. So what it does, it comes with, I think, four, four coils and two boxes of clips. So that's, once your initial setup cost of your gun, you got that, and then you buy the kits of scrails and clips separately. So they call this a five shot gun because it's designed to hold five clips at a time. So you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little arrow on the front of every one of these clips and they are connected five at a time. You load these into the gun, there's a track at the back behind the coil and you drop them right in just like that. Once you drop the clip in, you just slide it forward or it'll just slide forward and then you'll pull this plunger back. But because I already have a couple clips in the gun, I can't pull this back yet. I have to wait until these are exhausted. And the way I know is because I can look at the head of this gun and I can see there's already a clip loaded. When this thing runs, when the gun runs out of clips, there'll be a gap right here. And you'll know when you're ready to shoot these is when this clip is flush with these two teeth. These two teeth always stay in the same position on the end of the gun. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna take this set of clips out and I'll load them again in a minute. All right, so that's an overview of the gun. For all intents and purposes today, we're just gonna imagine this is a two by joist. It's a piece of six by six, I know, but, or maybe I'll run a couple extra clips in it just to show you how this works. But when you're running a hidden fastener system, usually you're gonna pin the end of your decking like so with a cortex or something, or you can actually use a clip as well. They make a special clip if you wanna end your run. I don't have any of those, so we'll just say we cortex the end. Then you would take your gun over the top of your joist, and this is kinda of neat. This, this uh, track is about an inch and a half wide. It's about the same width as your joist. So it's really easy to keep your gun aligned with your framing, okay? So then you'll push in and then you push the head down and then you pull the trigger. Now that sets your clip and a nail. So all you do is when you, once you have attached all those clips, you take your next board, you put it in. Now on a, on a, on a large deck, we usually use some type of a spacer. We use a 3 16th inch spacer. For today, I'm just kind of showing you how this works, so I'm not gonna get into all that. And if you go back a couple videos, you'll see us using the spacers in the deck with the clips, with this system. So there's your next one. Okay, my clip looks good. I always, always double check the head, make sure that you have a clip loaded and ready to go. Okay, now I've run out of clips. There's nothing left in here for me to shoot. So I'm gonna take another set of five clips I'm gonna find those arrows. I'm gonna load it in the gun. 
And then I'm gonna pull back on my plunger. And you gotta make sure there's a, there's a tooth right here that touches the clip. You gotta make sure that that bar is seated firmly on the back of your clip. Once you're good there, you can continue running your deck. Once you have your gap the way you want it and your board sitting the way you want it, fire away. And then you just keep building your deck out like so until you're done. Now, oh man, I messed up. I forgot to not just board around some electrical power. So I gotta pull this board. So I'm gonna remove this clip. Well, you got a T10 right here. Just go in, back it out. Now you can take that board off or tree fill and damage your deck. That's how you're gonna remove the decking. You can actually remove a field board right in the middle of the deck with this system. It's not one directional, so you can actually pull two or three clips, work your board out, and then reinstall it. So now that that's done, let's say, okay, let's say you're up against the house and the gun won't fit. Uh, they also make this really cool uh, manual tool and it actually comes with its own screws. It's a little bit different size. I think these screws are a T15 instead of a T10. To use the manual system, you take the same clips. They're, they're actually sold in a kit as well. So this is a uh, AZEC Fusion Lock collated hidden fastening system. This is the manual set. So uh, this is actually marketed out by AZEC. So what you do, is you take your five shot clips, which come in that box, and you load them through the back of this like so. Load them right through the back of the tool. And then you just shove the tool, click it once, and it gives you that same clip in the right position. Then I gotta change the bit on my drill, because these are a T15, not a T10. It, let's say the house is right here. I can't get my big gun in there or some kind of other obstruction. Maybe there's a post in the way. So then you just load the top of the clip, pushing forward and drive this in. And you can kind of hear it click when the clip snaps off from the other rest of the collated clips. Probably can't hear it because of the impact driver, but you can also, once you fasten that, you can also tear it up. And then all you gotta do for the next clip is just click it forward and it loads the next one. So it's kind of a handy tool. It makes sure that you're keeping your screws going in the right direction and that you're getting the proper seat going when you seat this, this clip so that the next board goes in good as well. So that's that. Again, it's really easy to remove these. It's that simple. Uh, so the, the manual system is a T15. The pneumatic system is a T10. So I can still go in here and unscrew all these clips and actually remove all of them if I wanted to for whatever reason, in case if you have to pull a few boards to, to fix something or you have to repair a part of the deck or something gets scratched up really bad or you know maybe you made a mistake and you have to go back a few boards. Uh, it's pretty handy for that. I've heard other people saying, oh, there's other systems that are so much faster than this. There may be a system or two out there that is faster, but if you have three guys running these guns, three people, it's pretty darn fast. We're not losing a lot of speed by using this system. We really like it. We're gonna continue to use it. Another reason I like it is because the scrails are two inches long. So those are going in about an inch and three quarters into the wood. So if you were to compare the depth, that's how much penetration you're getting into the lumber right there. So we feel that's a good amount for our pressure treated hemlock that we use here in the Pacific Northwest. That's all I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching our video on Fasten Masters Fusion Lock Gun. I hope you learned a little something about it. If you liked it or you like what you saw or you learned something, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.